Okay, good morning, everybody. This is Kel here as well. Welcome to our this daily uh, MAO, which means that every morning I try to commit myself to uh, help you guys to give the market outlook, right? That means I'm going to take away the daily video and I'm going to condense it to one simple morning session. Okay, good morning to all of you. All right. So the thing is this, oops. Okay. So the thing is let's do this 9th of November, uh, 2020, Monday, as usual. We start off the day with this first. Disclaimer as usual. All right, basically, uh, there's no representation here. Whatever you trade in the market, please understand this. You have, will be possible of losses. So please make sure that your, when you trade, all right, please make sure you know your uh, current financial condition. Okay? All right. Now, the thing is this the Wall Street has called for buy. I mean, this is what every morning I'll try to capture some of the key highlights on the market. And apparently, the Wall Street is looking for buy. And uh, it's not only just one, not two, but many experts are calling for buy, especially when now Biden is actually leading the, I mean, so called as the pre uh, elected president. All right. Of course, we know that Donald Trump is still pretty pissed off. Donald Trump still wants to come get in the picture, but still, the market is not, you know, really ignoring him and they are looking at that. So that's what the Dow Jones right now. You guys can see my Dow Jones chart. Can you see? Yeah. Okay. So this is morning Dow Jones today. Now the Dow Jones uh, basically is staying above the KHRL level. So which means that it's more towards the upside. And I mentioned during last night MAO, I mentioned that if the Dow Jones stays up, then there is a high potential that the market uh, above OP, yeah, there'll be upside be going upwards. But if the market reverse course and come below OP, and if it breaks below the cash RL level, I expect there's some selling, okay? I expect there's some selling. Now, there's a chocolate bar right here, okay? The chocolate bar right here, and that is the 28595 level, 28595. Okay, I'm going to write it down for you. Okay, right here, 28595, and uh, the market has just triggered it. Now, as you know, for us PSV traders, when the market trigger chocolate bar and reverse cost, right, is usually a form of resistance and that could be profit taking. And of course, if the market breaks below the opening price, that will also breaks, um, that will give us the light that the market may be pushing up this morning to sell down. And if the market breaks the RL level, the cash RL level, right, that will lead to more selling. So that's why I'm a um, cheater and I want you to guys take note of that. But the KSI is green in color. So this tells me that if the market do come down, I must start to take profit and I'm, I'm shorting the market. This is not the right time yet to short and hold position. I repeat, this is not the right time to short and hold position. Unless you're holding it with a stop loss order and you don't care, don't bother, then of course that's fine. But if you're on daily trading, today's market KSI is green. Hence, therefore, the uh, if you're short in the market, you just take profit along the way down. Okay? So that is the Dow Jones outlook for today. Let's go back okay, to the PowerPoint. Then the gold market. Now, this is quite interesting. Look at the gold side, right? Two days ago, the market was saying that gold will rally to 1960. Okay. So that it was the risk appetite. People are thinking that it's time to buy gold. Then just moments ago, <laughs> 23 hours later, the same uh, from the same place, another analysis said that nope, the gold will go down to lower level 2009. You see, that is the, that is always a confusion part of this expert. They can basically change their view as and when they like. So all I can say is this, right? I'm not too sure how to give you the answer, but I prefer to go to our PSV to take a look at the gold market. Right, let me bring the day chart to you right now. Now the day chart gold, you can see now from this, uh, from my chart here, you can see that this is the chocolate bar that was previously used before. By form a form of resistance and down at 1959 is a very strong resistance. 1959 is a very strong resistance. And I did mention yesterday about this figure. Remember that? So the thing is this um, the closing price of Friday did not close above the cash RL. So there was no uh, cash, uh, there was no buying uh, rationale for today. Hence, therefore, if the market goes below OP and breaks the cash RL, there could be some profit taking. But I look at the KSI and then there's no blue bar at the bottom. So there are bullishness at the bottom. So if the price do come down like KTR minus one, minus two, or minus three level, you can look out for a buy. All right, there's a pivot two at 1945. 1945, if the can hold there, probably the, the goal may hold there for support. But of course, if the goal breaks below 1945, that means it breaks below OP and 1945, then there could be selling. Now, how drastic the selling could be? Well, the selling can bring it down all the way back to the chocolate bar here itself at 1902. All right, overall itself, the goal seems to be going upside. Everything looks good. KSI green, no blue bars. K 
KCX is right here. So to me, any pullback, any pullback with some significant, all right, if for long-term players, you can buy and hold your position, okay, for traders looking at that. Okay, so let's look back at the PowerPoint slides once again. I'm flipping in and out. Okay, so that will cover us for today's uh, Dow Jones and Gold. Let me bring to you some stuff. Thank you so much for your kind donation on the rice and cooking oil. Now, our next event will be in December. All right, probably mid-December. Next time, the donation drive will be fresh or frozen food like chicken, fillet, vegetable, because this is what they really want. Rice, they have, have they quite, quite a fair bit. You can see they have quite a fair bit. So now the next thing they want is they like to have more fresh food. Okay, so guys, we hope to make money from the market and then we do generous donation. Now, do note, we do not take this, this charity as a form of marketing. We just tell people that it's time to do something for the society. All right, you don't say that because PSV is what, or T, <clears throat> TWB is what. We don't really go to that point. To ask yourself, charity must come from the heart. If you think that we are doing things that is to gain any marketing access, then seriously, you have the wrong idea. Right? We don't believe in that. And that's why we work towards to have another event in, 20, in December 2020. But of course, if you have any charity organization that you think that we should help, example, other society or organization that need help, contact me on the site. Contact me on the site. Let me take a look at the website or their, whatever they have, and we'll make our vision from there. We still got about $1,000 to spend on charity. We really want to help people. Thank you so much, guys. Of course, the next thing is that on 14 November, this coming Saturday, that is where but we meet the celebrity and ask him why. Meaning, right, ask him why did he join PSV system, trade with the boys, ask him straight form, okay? So I will be the host for that day. I will be hosting and interviewing the two special guests, as Zelda Chai from Mirami and Zhang Yao Tong, a celebrity, all right? He is actually our student. Yes, indeed, he's not just only a celebrity, he's actually our student. He has been there with us since pretty early in the oh no, the GM group itself, all right? And he's now basically practicing this, uh, he's trading with, on PSV and he likes it so much. So on this coming Saturday, it will be a Facebook Live event, which means that you have to log, you have to register for it. And then you go in the group chat and wait for the link. Now on 12th of November, uh, 12 p.m., okay, easy to remember, 12, 12, what will happen is that, right, we will do a lucky draw for 30, v for 30 people, all right? based on names, and you get a chance to come in to the live place where we're going to host the live event, okay, the live Facebook live event, okay, 30 people. So all students, all friends, family members, all can join this Facebook live event. If you want to gain the seat, okay, make sure your names have to reach us by November the 12th, uh, 12 November by 11 a.m. And then after that, we will do a lucky draw, and the first 30 people that I draw, will basically get a chance to come down and enjoy this great event live together, okay? So wait for the, the page, the registration page will be up soon. Once it's up, we'll post it across. And remember, you have to register to join this. If not, you won't be get, you won't see the link. And even the link is given to you, you can't see it because you're not part of the group. So please make sure of that, huh? very important. And of course, guys, I do have my next event. My next preview is on 21st of November. It's also a Saturday. All right, whereby I'm going to demonstrate live how to use the PSV system. Now, this is basically to encourage more people to join us as a PS, as a T, uh, Trade with the Boys members, all right? So they're all stuff, right? If you want to bring your friends in, do come, all right? You can get still get referral fees and stuff like that. So register through Trade with the Boy Facebook Messenger for the next workshop or 8K preview, all right? This is once a month, I will do one preview only. Every month, I'll do only one preview. So if your friends, you feel that they should come and join us, and please let them know, all right? And last but not least for today yourself, okay, let's leave you a quote of the day. No one is perfect. That's why pencils have erasers, okay, for whoop, gang, rip. All right, so I leave it with a quote of the day. If there's any question to ask me right now, you can post it. I will do it. If not, that will be end of this session. Anybody have any questions for me this morning? Thank you for coming on board. Now, every morning I try and commit myself to be there to assist you guys. All right. Now, of course, why say not every morning? Because if you know that I'm actually not a mother and a father at the same time, it's pretty rushing for me. So that's why it's going to be like this. All right, guys, any questions for me? Going once, <laughs> going twice. Okay. All right. If not, thank you so much for this morning. Have a great day. And I hope that you make money. The MAO uh, from last night will be up shortly. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Good morning. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.